everyone and welcome to episode 7 of my DDO free to play series. Today we're going to be exploring the Catacombs pack as well as probably running Ice Stone Inlet. I'm aiming to hit level 4 in this episode. Shouldn't be too hard as we're only 2000 and something XP away. First though we're going to spend our enhancement points once the game has loaded. Okay. Go to enhancements and we've got 3 points to work with. Now, I could pour a point into Deathless Vigor. I'm gonna see. Oh, efficient meta magic. We want efficient quicken eventually. But we're not gonna take the feat quicken until quite a bit later. So I don't think that's a priority. We're not gonna put any points. We're gonna put a few points into. into human. See what bonuses we've got. We've got attack boost. That's to hit. Armor and physical class. Melee and range power. All saving throws, all skills, and universal spell power. As we're a wizard, we're probably going to go for the spell power boost. We have to put a point into this to even access the human tree. And that's only one skill point, so it's not too bad, really. Um, we're also going to put points into intelligence and a saves boost. Uh, where is the saves boost? So that's the ability score, so that's what we're going to select intelligence on. I don't know if I'll take it this level. We need three points into negative energy conduit. And we want spell critical negative energy too. We'll put our current point into intelligence. Go for that. Okay, and we can do that three times. Under the, under the effects of an action boost. So that isn't as great as I initially thought it was. We've got action surge, increase in ability score of your choice. So we'll check to see, does this apply all the time? 21 int. It stays with 21 int. Put the other point into... Yep. Cool. So now we go to our enhancements and we're going to take a human spell boost, which will stick there for now. It's got six charges per rest, it looks like. And when we have an action boost running, we get the plus one to intelligence. So we'll have more spell points temporarily. Now, like I say, we're going to be running the Catacombs pack, which is accessible via the marketplace. So we'll head there. I don't know if I'll run the whole pack. Most likely I'll run half of it now and half of it when I'm a high level, as they aren't all level three or even level 4, I think it goes all the way to 5. So, we're going to be running the first 2 or 3 quests. Somebody else in my guild. You see our movement speed in public areas is very fast now. And that's likely due to the buff that we get from the ship. Yes, we're at 140%. I believe it's called the Chronoscope. It's one of the buffs and it'll increase your public walking speed dramatically. She's always handy for getting around. So we talk to Friar now. He'll give us a quest and we enter the catacombs. This is just like uh, the inside of a small house, for example. It's not a public area. Well, it is a public area, but it's not a wilderness area. Um, somewhere in between. It's just this spiral building. We need to go to the sanctuary, which I believe is right at the bottom. Cool. This pack is quite old, um, it's been around for a while. It is one of my favourites at this level. It's quite easy to blitz through. It does have a lot of undead, so it doesn't lend itself very well to our negative spellcasting type stuff. But it's easy enough to run through, especially on normal. You don't have to read these notes if you don't want. The sanctuary is quiet, save for some distant scratching sounds. Yet the smell of blood hangs thick. This door is locked and barred from the inside. It doesn't look like you can get through. Best to search elsewhere. Blood and bodies are everywhere in the western cells. As are webs. Very Perhaps good spots. You hear the telltale scuttling of spiders. Unpleasantly large spiders. I'm going to go through every single room, but I don't think you need to. You can just go straight to the end. 
mainly for breakables and collectibles that I'd go in here. Some of them open, naturally, as you can see. exceptionally weak. We'll see if this is a pickable door. It is. So usually there's a chest or some kind of benefit to opening these doors. Sometimes there isn't at all. In this case there's one breakable, so I mean, I wouldn't waste your time. Sometimes whole sections of a dungeon can only be accessed if you have the uh, if you have the unlock door ability. Yeah, somebody else saying that Sean is 85% off. Strange I couldn't see it. You probably have to buy it on their website instead of doing the points on the market. The markings near this level. The rattle of a portcullis echoes from the passage behind you. We get all the way to the north now. Let's say we'll run the catacombs till I hit level 4 and then we'll run to Ironstone Inlet. I think that's the best plan of attack. It will likely there take two are more of these quests. Signs of bloodshed in the north wing, along with something else. The faint tang of decay. Many useless doors. The smell of corruption grows stronger. The dead here are days old. Were these poor souls so isolated that their deaths went unnoticed for so long? There's Not something like on the floor in this cell. A hastily scrawled note left amid the carnage. them and run. What we gotta do now is go to the quest entrance. Probably easier than, well harder than it sounds. There we go. Not much XP, but it gets better. And they're very quick to run, so you can get through quite a lot very quickly. I think we have to turn this into Friar now, so we need to leave the sanctuary again. Archbishop Dryden. It's pretty much the center of this pack. This appears like a quest, but it's not. You're just going in to talk to him. Um, as far as I'm aware, this that kind of thing only really happens in this pack in Delirious Graveyard. Zero XP. And back to the same room. The moans of the undead rumble throughout the sanctuary. It says to find the key in the north wing, so we'll head up growing. here first. Something Ooh. strange ahead. The bloodstains on the floor seem to go through the wall on the right. Love it when you they fail at interrupting. Oh no. Secret room. 
I've also found a this trap. This must be where the warden kept his keys. Sneaky his body lies on the floor, twisted in death. Thank you. Master key. Nice. Search for survivor inside Minon's ward. I'm taking it, Minon's ward is not this ward, so we're going to leave this ward. So I want to check out the end, see if there's an optional chest. Nah, there's nothing behind that door now. I forgot to pop my hiling, I just realised. Looks like we don't really need her, to be honest. I will go add her anyway, because it's always nice to have. That's if we don't get attacked by that zombie first. Or a shadow. Yes. Dead have battered the a flicker of blue light draws your eyes down into the courtyard below. Something is looking back. Glad I summoned her now. Thank you, Mushly. Is that action boost? Let's increase your intelligence. <laughs> Not sure how useful that's going to be, but I wanted to spend a few points in the human tree anyway. As you can see, it's quite hard to hit ghosts. If you want an, a uh, ghost touch weapon, it's probably the easiest way to hit them. Let me just check that. And despair. Oh, silver flame, we shall not stray. Spirit of flame, hear my prayer. Oh no. Our first werewolf. Beautiful. Now we return to the sanctuary exit. Let's see if we're intelligent enough for this. This may just be a restaurant. Yes. There's a handwritten note. <laughs> Which we won't read. Okay, now we head to the exit. I believe it's not as easy as it sounds. We stopped somehow. The exit gate yes. slams closed as you approach. Yet, from the south, you hear another. The stench of the walking dead hangs thick in the air here. The south wing. This way you hear the rattle of iron and low metallic growling. Yep, yeah, there's the lever. This lever may open the way out. The exit gate grinds open in the distance. But several doors close nearby open as well. You hear clattering and growling from within. You hear a voice call out in the distance, echoing through the now empty halls. Hello? 
It's Bishop Greylight. I, I pray someone here still lives, and I await you at the entrance. The way is open now. Thank you. Uh, trash. So I'm going to go for the guild renown. That's something you'll get now as a reward if you're in a guild. Just helps increase the overall level. I tend to go for it if there is nothing even remotely useful. Um, now we can head into the library archives, but as we've hit level 4, I'm going to take that instead and then go run a different quest. So we've just started the Catacombs pack and probably run the two most boring quests in it. But uh, we'll be coming back to it, so not to worry. At least I think we will. Let's go find our trainer who's at the entrance. advance to next level. Okay, now we're at level 4, so what we're going to want to do is take... we're always putting our points into intelligence, so that's easy enough, uh, because it helps both our rogue levels and our wizard levels. And now we've got to put our points in for level 4, so we're going to put a point into concentration, we're going to put a point into disable, a point into search, and a point into spot. Yep. Okay. Now we're, we get to take some more spells. So instead of level 1 spells, we've got enough level 1 spells. We're going to be taking two level 2 spells, which we finally get access to. Now we're going to be getting... As we're a rogue, we can unlock doors quite easily. So I'm not sure if we're going to take Knock, which is literally just an unlock door spell. Uh, instead of that, we, we can take Invisibility, which is always helpful. Level 4, Death Aura is a level 4 spell, so we need level 2. Spawn Screen, Blur, uh, and Resist Energy, both very useful, so I'm actually going to take Blur and Resist Energy. Okay, Blur is useful, it just makes you harder to hit, and Resist Energy obviously gives you um, certain resistances to fire, sonic, those kind of things, which are both helpful to have. We will probably be getting Resist Energy Mass later on, which means it will give us all the buffs for all the elements in one. But for now, it will be quite useful to use these spells, just for individual traps. So, run to the bar. I have to go here to choose our spells. Okay, level 2. Chuck Blur there, because I'm going to be running it with every dungeon and then resist energy is more specific I'll stick it up there all right so now we're gonna go run our Ariston Inlet uh, playthrough which is accessible via the harbor it's one of my favorite quests at this level and it's probably one of the more difficult quests at this level but it's definitely it pays off uh, due to the sheer number of chests that you receive from doing it there's probably 20 chests And the XP is good. Another important factor. We do need to sell our hefty inventory first though. Because we're pretty much out of space. That's not worth keeping really. Three we'll keep. We won't take we'll take the three as well. But I'll keep these two for bumping us over level if we ever get in that situation. Some people bank all of their XP pots, I tend to just take them as I go, but I'm keeping a few this time in case we're so close to level, we just need something to push us over. That can be quite annoying. Not selling that. Selling that. Selling that. May as well keep that, to be honest. We'll put that hat on too. Get DC to all of our spells, which is nice. Um, radiance, light, and alignment, that doesn't really matter. Some arrows, we keep the flame ring for now. Plus three concentration, plus one accuracy. We'll see if that's better than what we've got. We want to keep that. Burning hands, bane, detect doors. Alright, so we'll see what items we have on that increase intelligence. We've got fortification, diplomacy, speed, constitution, strength, 
Dex. Combustion and Enchantment Resistance, Charisma, Intelligence. This is the only current buff we have to Intelligence on our gear. So we're going to keep that until we can swap it for the ring that we picked up in the last episode. And the entrance to Ironstone is here where Niles Cage is. I just realised we didn't upgrade our hireling, but that shouldn't matter. Get along fine with Illyri. Run our buffs, including our new buff. Sweet. Now is this our first quest encountering hobgoblins? I feel like it is. They're a very common enemy in this game. Well, actually, no, we have we have run into hobgoblins, I feel like, when we went to the Cerulean Hills. Anyway, they occur a lot, and they're often in massive groups like this. So it's good to use area of effect spells to neutralize them quickly. They can swarm you, and at that point it's very hard to retaliate. As you can see, they can take a lot of damage. Remember, we had that item that increases the DCs of all spells, so we'll definitely chuck that on. So we go around rescuing crew members, the powder kegs we can't interact with yet. We use them later to destroy a boat. But at this point, you're just going to want to get to the main quest givers, Stain Tusk and uh, Madame Rackham. Several patrols are winding through the inlet's valleys. Take caution as you advance. At a cook pot in the back of the camp, the Kobo makes a hunting brew. Is the Kobo a cook? Scar Tongue flails in agony and stops moving altogether. Come back here. Still getting insta kills with our beautiful chill touch. It's always nice. Thank you. And these guys are just to the left through these bushes. Some shrines we'll never use because they're too far away from anywhere we're going to die. Alright. So, now we have to kill the ogre first mate. I'm going to go about it in a bit of a confusing way and curve all the way around the map to get to him. That way we've cleared all of the camps, there are a lot of camps in this map, and we can go back and get powder kegs if we need. We also have to rescue every crew member, so this is essential anyway. Yaryar's schooner has been discovered at the end of the inlet. Yaryar will be stranded without it. Goodbye, fool. Oof. Teleportation.
So yeah, as you can see, this quest mainly constitutes clearing these camps and getting pretty bad chest rolls as you go. It is one of the best XP per minute quests at this level, I believe. It's got the same pattern of stunning everyone and then killing them. I'm not too worried about using up my spell points because I know we're coming up to a shrine fairly soon where the first mate is. No chest for me. Bastard. Probably end up having to clear some of this junk out of our inventory anyway for when we go get the powder kegs. Some in game items like quest things have to be into your Rainy inventory. Air stinks unmistakably Damn, that spell's effective. You can waste our gold points as we make that beautiful shrine. Dinks, the first mate of the bomb bomb raider. Has fought. Take his ledger. The IR's orders say he's to sail on Stormreach and blockade the harbor. What's this? Keep him from leaving the inlet. <laughs> Somehow worse than what we've already got. Right, so definitely rest up, and now we have to go along collecting powder kegs, which we'll use to blow up the boat. You may notice I never rest my highlings, it's because they just don't deserve it. Oh no. That's a spell we'll hopefully get later. Causes everybody to dance uncontrollably. Hubble the Hobgoblin stands with weapons drawn and a whole expression of his face. Apart. Goodbye. Oof, Hobble's crossbow. I've never had that drop before. It's not very good, but it's a blue item, so. Okay, stuck in the powder kegs. Only one more prisoner, so. I need to drop down here for that one. Try and stun them in one go. And use our skill boost because it's there. Whatever they're casting on me makes it so that I can't tumble. I'm interested. Ah, we're weakened. That'd be why. Okay. You have saved eight crewmates from the Banshee. 
Now, I'm going to swing back around from the, the front of the quest entrance so I can grab some of those powder kegs. And we need to head to that boat that we saw at the start. Hello? Got enough. Oh, this is what I thought would happen. We will chuck out. Now nah, we we'll want to keep the prayer beads. Chuck out some prayer beads. You have found six powder kegs. Use them to trap Yar Yar's schooner while he's ashore. I'm used to having a much bigger collectibles bag, so our inventory is kind of overflowing with them at the moment. Have to dump some of them. a shorter duration, three minutes. Um, spells durations, uh, I believe, increase as you level this naturally, but also when we get extend spell, which is a feat later on. Make them last like 20 minutes at a time. Load up these powder kegs, and then you want to go over and hit the torch. Yar Yar's schooner has been transformed into a floating bomb. You hear a bellowing voice not far away. Probably Yar Yar realizing he's stuck ashore. Hurry up, you fool. You can die if you're close enough. I've done it before when I first started playing. I didn't move and I got blown to pieces. And there are no rest shrines or resurrection shrines nearby, so there's no chance of surviving through that. Yeah, Yaya's chest drops over here for some reason, despite always killing him in that little valley. So, run over and claim that. Why not? Now we need to go back to Stain Tusk to get our XP reward and final reward. So it's not the longest quest. It can be hard on, like, it, well, it can be hard on hard, it can be hard on elite, especially if you're a first life character or you're playing under leveled. It can be quite a brutal quest. Just because of the sheer amount of hobgoblins that swarm you. They get lots of critical hits and that kind of thing. We've only got a meager 38% forti uh, fortification score, so we're quite open to critical hits at the moment. There's our XP. Howls of triumph. Yar Yar is dead. The Banshee is avenged. Three cheers for our bunny rescuers. Sweet, now that's wrapped up. Stealthy boots of strength, huh? Yeah, those are actually quite good, but I might go... We've already got a nullification boon bonus on another thing. Uh, this is cold absorption, not very useful. Spell resistance. Negative healing amplification. Why not? Where's that robe? Yes, plus it's a nicer looking robe in my opinion, so that's a bonus. heading to the marketplace, probably run a quest in there. There's a chain at the moment, well at level 4 in the marketplace, that uh, you can pick up right at the entrance and I think it's a series of four quests with a final one unlocked at the end. 
I tend to only do half of that saga, not run all of it because there's a particular quest I don't like in it. Uh, you can feel free to run them all though. Pick them up from, I believe, yes, this coin lord, Yorick Amanatu. And there are quests like Stand Your Ground where you protect a bar, slab. Anyway, we'll head over here because this is where the first quest is. Yes, you talk to Maxwell and he wants you to defend his pub. Which is a very easy quest. You're literally just killing some of these hired goons that come to extort money from him. Some of the other quests in this chain are a bit more difficult. Um, well, they got more to them anyway. XP isn't amazing, but I do always tend to run them just as something to do. He's upstairs, but we'll get these breakers done. shooting for a reason? Yes he is. Now you've got to protect Maxwell at all costs. If he dies you fail. You can choose to protect his brother, I usually do, because it's not very hard and you get some bonus XP. Not essential though if you don't like Rance for some reason. Oh, okay. Yes, there is a ransack bonus in this quest. Some quests, they just don't have a ransack bonus included because there aren't enough breakables. That's most of the, most likely the reason. It's just a waiting game. Man, I'm just entranced by this, uh, this beautiful outfit. Get back. He's saying that now, Maxwell. Without me, you'd be doomed. He's a humanoid. Something I quite often do to other players, so you can view their bio and um, stats about them, is just to go examine, and you'll see what guild they're in, what level they're at, what classes they are, that kind of thing. If you want to be nosy. Some players will have like 150 past lives listed, and I'll just stand, stare in astonishment. It's definitely possible. Uh, I'd never be able to dedicate that much time. Get off of him. Is my bonus XP? I think you can get her to heal them. Yeah, perfect. Should be coming up for our boss soon. Hopefully he drops through the roof. <laughs> Sometimes if you kill things quick enough in quests, there's this, this lag waiting for the quest to continue. 
it's actually very common, especially if you're playing a Nuka build and you've blitzed through the entire room in under a minute. There we go. Thank you. Probably not the most interesting quest I could have picked to play. It's a realistic uh, representation of this level. It's Here we go, finally! Underlord slab the crusher. If he's the one after the saloon, then ending him will end the threat against the Stanley brothers. Dust settles into a fury quietness. The Sean Syndicate attackers have fallen. You and the Stanley brothers. It's good XP for the effort, stand. really. I mean, we got far less on that um, initial. Uh, what's it called? Initial. Ah, uh, Catacombs quest. I think we got 950 and it took just as long. So, yeah, really not that bad for the, exp for the XP reward. If you're happy to stand around like a fool. Okay, what garbage have you got? Protection. Diplomacy. Charisma and hide. No, thank you. I'll just take this. What quest do you have? Devil Assault in the six, yeah. Nope. So go talk to Yurik again, and he'll send you on to the next quest. Okay, talk to Guardcade. This will be the last quest we run. One more. What would you have me do? Dirty Laundry. I feel like this is a good quest for a rogue, like it's got a few hidden doors. Maybe a bonus the enemy. The of the shiny shilling is tastefully decorated in the style of a small yet successful Stormreach accountancy. As you rush forward, accountants flee through a back door. Guards cover their escape. I wash a will. Two levers for one door for some reason. Across the room, you see a false bookcase swing shut, covering the money launderers' escape. This is why Q comes in handy. Wouldn't have seen that otherwise. All that. The false bookcase swings open, revealing the dimly lit corridor on the other side. Yuck, Warforged. Horrible race. The door ahead is barricaded on the other side. The money launderers must have prepared well for this day. Where are you? Yes, I am. the gloomy corridor you hear the motions of guards alert for intruders a storehouse of illicit Ooh, another one the accountants use their financial trickery to make these ill-gotten syndicate gains look like legitimate funds. I'll let her deal with that room. Why not? Perfect. 
wasn't sure I was gonna get that. The strong room door is locked securely. You can break it down, but a stealthy entrance would make your mission easier. Now I think we have to go up to this barrel, and that's the secret lever. Kill him at the start? Or was that Washer Willy? She's still fighting them. It's remarkable. Ah, oh, I see. Shilling has been dealt nice. with. The accountant's fate demonstrates no the folly of associating with a Shan quick. syndicate. Alright, well I think that'll wrap it up for this episode. We'll probably go and run Tangle Root Gorge next time. Uh, well, most of it anyway, because it's quite high leveled eventually. But for today, I feel like that's a, it's a good effort. We'll just go talk to the quest giver so we can get the next one. Thank you very much. Alright, yeah, and the next one we'll pick up in the next episode. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you next time.